Are you in high school? Then this podcast is not for you. This is for parents, grandparents, and just anyone else that is interested in what a high schooler does on a day-to-day basis. Brought to you by me, Parker Conti, Devin Khan, and Chelsea Rodas. We interviewed introvert Anonymous and extrovert Allison about their lives as high schoolers with a twist. We specifically chose to interview an introvert and extrovert because our goal was to compare their lives. Here's how their day went. Our first interviewee, Allison, is a self-titled extrovert who spends most of her time with her friends and family, that is, if she isn't doing homework. So first, what I usually do when I get to school is go to my table and I will just talk to everyone and like update them and they update me. If not, I'll go somewhere else or like take a walk. If I have friends in the class, then I would most likely talk to them, but if I don't, then I would mainly be alone, but if it's like a very hard level class, like I'm in a few of those, I would prefer to be alone. I only participate when I know the answer, which is not, like, it is uh, actually pretty often. If the teacher assigns it to be in groups, I'll work in a group, obviously. If it's alone, I'll do it alone. But if I had the option, I would do both. No, I do not as of now. Um, what I, instead what I do is I go on the bus, go home, and I mainly just babysit my brothers or I, and I also do my homework at home because I just feel more comfortable here and I mainly have to come home after school. But that's just as of now, that could change because I am thinking of joining certain things. I wake up around seven o'clock in the morning. The school start time works pretty well for me. I wake up and my parents usually go to work before I wake up, but they usually uh, make food and if they don't, I usually just make food and then I eat the food. Uh, I get changed, go to the bus stop. At the bus stop, I'm usually on my phone or talking to people. Usually, I like to sit by myself and uh, lie sideways on the seat, Uh, but if there's somebody else, if the bus is too full, then I usually just sit with a random person. When I get to school before my class starts, I usually go to the student center. I usually talk to people in my classes, and sometimes I keep to myself if I don't know the people. I sit at a table with my friends at lunch. I prefer to work by myself because then I don't have to uh, go past other people and get to do exactly what I want. After school ends, I usually take the bus home, and then I'm usually uh, gaming for a little bit, you know, and then I, after that, I go to practice. And then after practice is finished, I go home. And my practice is for water polo. It usually takes me uh, a maximum of 15 minutes of <laughs> at home work because the rest I usually do uh, during other classes or during, during learning center or opportunity block. At first, we expected to see a very big difference in the way they live their lives. But the more we spoke with them, the more we realized they had a lot in common. An example of this would be how they spend their time after school, where they both go home and claim to just do their homework. While there's a lot to compare in our findings, we found something fairly interesting when we were looking for our interviewees. We had a lot of trouble when it came to finding an introvert. In fact, the only introvert we ever found was the one we interviewed, and they chose to remain anonymous. We also found that this introvert spoke a lot less and communicated more through actions such as hand gestures. Meanwhile, Allison spoke in a lot more detail. 